in episode 3.3, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an automatic upgrade unlock system, which requires you to reach a certain point in order to unlock certain upgrades. So such as this, I'm going to reach 25 flasks and we're going to unlock the next upgrade just like that. Hello everyone, it is Cryptograns here. Welcome back to another Unity Idol Game tutorial video. This is episode 3.2 and today we're going to be doing the unlock system for our upgrades. So how this is going to work is that upgrades are just going to appear on the screen when you reach a certain point. So you can kind of have the unlocking, the unfolding mechanics, I guess you could say. And this is very easy to do. It's just a few lines of code that we're going to be doing. If you end up enjoying this video, make sure you leave a like to support the video. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications for future notifications of videos and live streams. So anyways, what we're going to be doing is heading to our upgrades manager script. So in our upgrades manager, you can see that we have created click upgrades and production upgrades. So these belong to the object upgrades. So we don't have, let's go to our upgrades real quick. So you can see that we have our upgrade button, level, name, and cost. So our upgrade button, we can assign an image to this and turn it off or we can actually just turn off the game object of this object so we're going to do that instead and that will just be reducing the amount of uh, adding we have to do what we're going to do is create two big double arrays so this will be click upgrades unlock we'll do the same thing for production and in our start method we will assign whatever number we want our things to unlock at so let's say we want the first upgrade to unlock immediately we can just have that at a zero so we're going to create a new big double array and we're just going to set the first one to zero because we want to see that right away and our first upgrade its cost is going to be 50 let's make that 25 and then the next one will be 50 and then the next one will be 500 so i'm basically doing half of what the original cost is you can simply do 900 90 or 40 if you'd like so you can do whatever you want with these but i'm just going to do half of the original base cost and I'm going to do the same thing for our productions upgrade unlocks and except I'm going to be adjusting these to whatever I want. All right. So here are our two additions inside of the update method. We're going to be looping through all of the upgrades inside of our list. So to do that, we're going to be making a for loop. So we're going to start at zero and we're going to go to the click upgrades count and we're going to increment I by one. And now to access this, we need to do click upgrades at index I and we're going to turn it off on and off by doing dot game object dot set active. And for our set active, we're going to pass in through controller dot instance dot data dot flask is greater than or equal than click upgrade unlock at index I. So now basically whenever our flask is greater than the cost, the base cost, it's going to turn it on. So the current issue with this is that it's going to keep turning on and off whenever our flask is not or it is greater than this unlock. So we want to make sure we want to keep it on when it's on. So what we do here is if our click upgrades at index I dot game object dot active self. So when it's not active already, we want to check to see if we can make it active and we'll do the exact same thing for our production upgrades. Also, I'm sorry if this is really slow. I don't know why writers lagging like crazy. Now, obviously, if you had more upgrade types to do, you could um, you could make a method for this and just keep these separated, but we only are doing it twice, so I think we're fine. So one thing we notice is that these are all on. So when we create our uh, upgrades right here, they are turned on by default, and that means this will be ignored entirely. So we actually have to turn these off before we do this. So let us do that. So in our start upgrade manager, we're going to head to our for loops here. We're going to add a line in here. We want to turn off this game object after we instantiate it. So we're going to do upgrade dot game object dot set active false. And we're going to do the same thing for the other for loop and we should be set. So now you only see one upgrade, which would be the click and the one flash per second. So let's get some flash going. And there we go. We have the second upgrade and we could do the same thing. There we go. We got another one. And I think the next one unlocks a little further down the road, but you get the point. 
Anyways, guys, I know that was really simple, and I hope this is useful for some of you guys who are interested in this. If you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and turn on the bell for future notifications of videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. I will see you guys in the next one in episode 3.3. And this will be on generating upgrades. So this is kind of like Antimatter Dimensions. If you haven't heard of that game, you basically have units or upgrades producing each other. So this will be kind of an interesting topic to discuss and it will require some expansion. Have a great day and night everyone and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching again. Peace.